Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly requested. This is the makeup look that I did in my um, luxury gifts and samples video. Um, I don't know if it came out exactly like it did in that video, but this is basically the look that I did, so I tried to recreate it. Um, as some of you guys had been commenting in some of my other videos, asking me to create more looks with the Chanel Tender Counter Cap Palette. Um, several of you had been asking for more looks, so I came through and did some more looks for you guys. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the Chanel Tender Counter Cap Palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip over any parts of my makeup look that I don't really think are pertinent to the makeup tutorial. So before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. And let's go ahead and just dive right in and see how I created this look. Okay, let's get started on this look. I already primed my face, I filled in my brows, and I primed my eyelids as well. So I'm just going to jump right into this look. Sorry, that's my coffee mug here on the side. It's still morning here. So to start off this look, I'm going into the first shade on the palette. This one here is this nice, cool-toned shimmer shade right so here. Using a fluffy brush like this, this is from MAC. You can use any brush you want. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the first shade and start applying that all over my lid. So the steps that I'm doing for this look are pretty similar to the last video I did with this palette. I'm going to link that somewhere around the screen so you guys can go have a look. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm going into the inner corner here. Just making sure there's some nice light color on the inner corner of my eye here. This is actually the look that I created when I filmed the luxury gift and samples video. And someone had commented under that video that they wanted to see a makeup look, like the makeup look from that video. And then other people commented on some of my other videos asking me to recreate that look from that video as well. So I decided I would just go ahead and create the look because you guys wanted it to. And a few of you also wanted to know how to create more looks with this palette because it is really beautiful, but like five shades can be kind of intimidating. So this is what I'm doing today. So going in with the big fluffy brush like this, I am going into the fourth shade, the matte green shade here. And I'm tapping into my fluffy brush with this. And so using a very similar technique to the last video I did with this palette, we're going to place this in the crease here. What's nice about using these two shades is that these ones are definitely more cool toned, whereas the gold and the reddish cranberry shade are definitely more warm toned. So I don't know, it's just nice that you have these four shades and you can do totally different looks using only two of them at a time. And someone had also mentioned that they wanted to see a look using only the greens, like only green shades. Like I think specifically the shimmer, the shimmer green and possibly like the matte green. I think I'll probably end up using that. So if you guys would like to see another look with this palette, let me know down in the comments. And I'm going just back and forth in a windshield wiper motion like this. And now I'm going into a clean fluffy blending brush like this. And I'm going to start blending this out. I really love that you guys have been so responsive and letting me know down in the comments what you guys want to see. You know, some of you have been very specific, like I want to see this shade, I want to see that shade. That's really great. It's very helpful because sometimes I have ideas in my head and then hearing it from you guys directly also helps. And I'm also going to take this fluffy brush and start brushing under my lashes here. Someone in the comments had asked me if I thought this palette was like a must-have palette and it really got me thinking to all of the eyeshadow palettes that I own from Chanel and I wanted to know if you guys would like to see um, like an overall review of my Chanel eyeshadow palettes like would you guys want to see a video of just my palettes and me just like maybe ranking them like best to worst or like my favorites to least favorites would you guys be interested in seeing that let me know down in the comments now just like in the other video I'm going back in with my brush here and just reapplying some of the lighter shade just a little bit just to make sure that the silver really pops up. The next step is actually what inspired me to create this look. I really just wanted to use this um, Cidre Aux Yeux 
number 857 legendary green this is also from the christmas 2017 collection i just really wanted to utilize this gorgeous like forest green shadow that's how i ended up creating this look because i just wanted to use this green eyeshadow or green liner sorry and so i figured i should go ahead and use maybe the cooler tones and so that's how i created this look so using this gorgeous green liner here let me do a little swatch so using this liner, I'm going to tight line my eye. I'm going to go in the waterline on the bottom. I'm also going to trace um, where the lashes are on the bottom. And I'm also going to do a thin line on top as well. Now again, if you wanted to use a bl I think I'd recommend a black liner for this. If you don't have a green liner, i go with a black more than brown. Um, just because of a more cool tone. So I think you should go with like more cool tone liners as well. But if you want to play around with different colors, I mean, it's just makeup. It's not rocket science. So you can go ahead and play with whatever colors you want. When I created this look the first time, I went out to um, dinner with some friends. We went to um, trivia. And when I walked in, my friend was like, your eyes, they pop so much, they look so bright. I was like, really? Okay. So I think it's the green liner with the brown eyes that really works. So if you have brown eyes, green liner. With the liner, you want to make sure that the liner on the bottom joins with the top lashes here and the top line, because you don't want to just have like and you want like the color to be all around the eye. You don't, you don't want to have the gap. So hopefully I'll be able to zoom in on this part and show you guys here. Like you just want to make sure that this color connects on top. And then I'm just going to do a thin line on the top. What I really love about this liner is that when I swatch it on the back of my hand, it looks like a dark forest green, but I don't know if it's like my skin tone on my face or with the eyeshadows, but it almost looks like a teal. Don't you find? I find. I also just realized as I was doing this tutorial that the nail polish on this finger here has chipped. <sighs> That's my biggest pet peeve, having chipped nail polish on myself. I mean, I don't really, I don't judge other people and what they do, but for me, like having like chip nail polish, I'm like, mm. okay. now that my liner is done, I'm going in with a Q-tip, very fancy, very expensive, I know. And we're just going to smudge a little bit of the liner on the bottom here. Okay, and now we're going into mascara. I'm going into the Chanel Volume number 10. This is just like the classic volume mascara. I don't know, for some reason, I'm not really big into false lashes. I know a lot of people are. And I find they look really good on other people, but I find they're really annoying to place. I guess I don't practice putting them on, so, you know, the less you practice, you're not that great. And I don't know, I just find like, I would much rather just find like a really, really good mascara and just roll with that. If you feel like it, you can also place some of the mascara directly on the bridge of your nose. It's very in season for spring 2018. I'm just kidding. Now that the look is almost done, I'm going into this small tapered brush here. So I'm actually going to go into my highlight. This is the MAC Beaming Blush Highlighter here. It is a gorgeous rose gold color. So I'm going to go in, swirl a little bit, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner here. And a little bit under the brow bone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my face off camera and I'll be right back. I am going to use the blush that came with the holiday collection. It's number 380 called So Close. And I'm going very lightly into this blush, if you guys will remember. This one is extremely pigmented. I'll show you guys here. And this basically, when you wear it, it it's almost like true to color. It, it's like almost as pigmented as it is in the compact here. Now for the lip, we can go two ways. We could do like a very natural lip because we have a dark eye, but I feel like going bold. I feel like you're doing a nice bright orangey red. So I will go into the Rouge à number four. This is part of the limited edition collection right now. This is basically the most orange out of all the shades. I think most of them are reds or a little bit pinky but this one is just like a really gorgeous orangey red, which is my personal favorite lip shade to wear ever. So I think this overall look with the red lip is like 
gorgeous for a holiday party this season or like New Year's, whatever you want. But like I said, if you want to tone it down a little bit, you could go with a nice nude gloss, maybe a lipstick, but like maybe more nude. But for me, I'm like, I like to go big or go home. So I'm going to go with the red. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I think this is like perfect for a holiday party this season, maybe New Year's. I don't know. This to me just like screams holiday with like the green and the smoky and the red lip. I'm just like, yes, perfect. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for commenting on all my previous videos and requesting these looks. So I was thinking I could create a final look with this palette. I was thinking of going into the shimmer green shade. Now I did use it in the original video that I did with like the whole review and haul. However, I could probably do something else with it. Um, if you guys have a look in mind, let me know down in the comments. If you guys have certain color combinations you guys want to see, let me know down in the comments. And I think that's all I have for you guys, so I will see you guys next time. Bye!